Sorry about that. I am Patrick Brochard. Welcome back. The Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Delucia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but... As one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors, to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Well then. Welcome back, everybody, to Horizon Zero Dawn. Striker here. <laughs> Alright. So much info. So much need to know. See guns through the wall. Ooh. Now. There we go. Supplies, supplies. Oh. Aren't these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. That is so crazy when you think of it. And it's Insane. Kind of awesome, but it just feels kind of weird. Well, at least the machines didn't put us into slavery. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. <clears throat> I hope we get there soon. <laughs> And I, I do apologize for the thing cutting out on me, but at least we were able, at least I was able to pause it and get back up and running again. But usually I try to keep these under minimum. Minimum. I don't like having them an hour long, but this you need to, you know, have at least a little bit long because this has the information you may want to know. You're not could just listen to all the audio logs just from straying around. Oh, here we go. This is the other side. Pure logic oh. won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia. Go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument oh. is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche 
is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. At least she's willing to help, unlike what you did by making robots that feed on organic. That would explain how the Reapers exist. <gasps> That's where it all started. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Oh, I'm back to her. Okay. Oh god, talk at the same time. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction Event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Hmm. She's finally starting to evolve. Learn the ways what we what we do. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness oh. during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... If it was all for nothing. Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh man, this is making me kind of feel a little down because. Even though you couldn't change it, it was gonna happen no matter what, but damn, it's like, this is heavy shit! Try open door. Oh, supplies. Got too much already. Really? Hmm. There goes nothing. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable.
have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? You sound like a zombie, dude. <laughs> you, you knew it was wrong. Trying to bore me to death. Rost. Hmm. You knew it was wrong. Oh, let's try this one. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man. Is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. I got all bullets around his neck. No, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you. Down in that place. That I finally glimpsed. The sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Because I'm a badass. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. You can try. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Hmm. You're a fool. You're a thug. You're a puppet. I'd say that because the way he's acting sounds like a puppet. I'd say you're a fool. But I'd probably call him your thug because that's what he's doing. Yeah. Spare me the religious justifications. You can dress up your cruelty in holy clothes and words if you want. But under it all, you're just a murderer. An odd slight coming from you. You've become quite a murderer yourself, child. A oh, killer, self defense. Killers, not a murderer. But I wouldn't expect you to know the difference. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. <laughs> like how keeps bobbing his head. It's dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. 
or yours. Left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. <gasps> I ordered dare you. Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. They cast me out. Needless snares there. Eh. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case. I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? Yeah. And yet, so fragile. <gasps> you son of a bitch! That was my favorite cell phone! <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Why don't you jump in and fight like me like a man? Instead of having your men and your goons do all the work for you. Focus or no focus, I will still destroy you. I've trained very well. Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian, ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Ah, oh, look, there's the medic guy. Hold your seats. Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Oh god, they strap it down. Cruelty. To consecrate this is she or not? The radiant Turan ordered it's still cruelty. Faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Just you like wait. One, I'll get my shotgun bow and shatter's armor off. Let her be the first of thousands. Up, oh, here we go. I like how I took my clothes away and put this ragged shit on me. <laughs> oh, great! No weapons. <laughs> Strength against it. Where's my weapons? Eh? Oh! 
Wow! That pillar's weak. Where the hell is it? Discover the truth. Oh god! <laughs> there's no weapons around here, there's only resources! <laughs> Hide behind here, it'll never find me. Here <laughs> Why am I even laughing at this? I'm gonna die. Woo! 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 Oh god! Telekinesis! Run! Ah! Oh, it's a good thing I didn't get rid of my berries. I must hide. You'll never find me here. <laughs> oh! Yes! My weapons! <laughs> the hell? like a Superman scene right there. So I took the raggedy clothes off, got naked for a bit, put my clothes on. <laughs> oh, you won't play, huh? Oh, take that! Ah, oh, come on! Damn it! Man, this shotgun doesn't shoot that fast. That's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Woo! Freeze! Damn it! Oh my god! Well, at least it's frozen. Yeah. Oh wow, it's not even there. <laughs> it's like, what the hell am I even shooting at? Oh my god! Eh, eh. Where do you think you're going? Shoot you in the ass! Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Whee! Oh, throw off your armor! Unless you got your armor off. Hmm. Oh! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Come on, we're lower, 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 lower. Ah! Oh, it's dead. <sighs> what you gonna do now, huh? Blew your mind, didn't I? <laughs> Silence. Sacrificial does not work on me. Come on, get down here and fight me like a man. Oh, you're gonna have them do it for you? You're such a pansy. Won't work. Not my trusty shotgun. No, put that bow away. Get your shotgun out. <sighs> will never work. Yeah! Exactly! Trying to oversize me won't work. Whoa! What's happening? <gasps> He's a rescue! Who's coming to help me? 
Oh, it's silence in the flesh. <laughs> Woo. Ravagers, the puppy dogs. Wow, they miss. They're not very good at shooting, apparently. <laughs> oh, are you mad? Yay! <laughs> So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, Venora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivial and easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Dead ah. does love his little big man. You're really good at making Thanks, it Silence. Like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine. Jeez, makes you wonder if he's world. half machine with those wires in his head. Wait, that must have hurt yes. putting that in. Ooh, questions. Yes. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Oh, really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wound at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. But I got more questions. You're here in the flesh, not hologram. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Those things on his chin and arms, that looks awesome as hell. But it, it looked like it would hurt. Helis recognized you back in the sun. Unless he was born with it. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Uh. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a wise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Wow. <laughs> I got a skill point. What the hell am I gonna spend it on? There's gotta be a new chapter to all this. Cause... 
I can't spend any of my scale points. Yeah, see? But yeah, I earned one. Well, I think they I think there was a DLC for this. Maybe that's where my skill points will go. We'll see then. <laughs> but, oh my god, now I got a new cell phone in my ear. Now I gotta download all my friends. Gotta get all my uh, songs and all my other things and uh, kinky things. And, oh my god, mind blowing. But, it's gonna take time to get all that back into my focus. <laughs> Unless he did it for me. I have to check. Nope, gotta do it all myself. Damn. Oh well. Well, anyways, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. I'm so excited. I think we're getting closer to the end. Hoorah! <laughs> and I'll see you guys in our episode of Rising Zero Dawn. Peace out, bye. And don't forget to smash that like button if you're new and all. Don't forget to nuke the subscribe button. And leave me a comment. I'll see you guys in our episode. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye. I can't jump, but I'll ride this horsey. <laughs>